Hello lamp fans, this week we're going to be talking about lamp electrification and what to do and what not to do. Uh, so you want to have, you know, some lamps that are just, you know, electrified so you can just come in and flick them on, flick them off. You just need light for a few seconds. Uh, you know, electrifying is very convenient. Um, so there's different ways to do this. Uh, these are set up on a, uh, a touch sensitive dimmer you get it at Home Depot. It's about, I think about $18, $16 sort of thing. And uh, I have a model four and a model, I think it's model five, model six. I have one way over in the corner over there, uh, model uh, B floor lamp. And uh, so I, you know, I have about a half dozen lamps that are electrified just for pure convenience. Um, really two ways to do it, depending on what you got. So if you have a model A, B, C or newer, uh, you know, it's just, you can just thread in a, one of these electrified burners come have a little key switch on them, about $50, $60 range. So that's probably your best bet. Uh, this is an earlier Aladdin style. You'd put, take the flame spreader out, slide that into the, uh, the uh, wick tube, center wick tube and uh, away you go. But you couldn't put a uh, chimney back on it. So it looks kind of funny. Um, I see a lot of lamps that are destroyed. So here's here's a burner basket. Everything's ripped out, and even the wick razor's been cut. So this is basically garbage, just so you can put a socket inside. So I mean that was done in the 30s, 40s, and 50s because they weren't running, uh, you know, uh, kerosene anymore, and so uh, they just wanted to keep the lamp around the house. So that's what they did. Uh, another horror scene here is this. Uh, Contraco, uh, made by Plum and Atwood, which is basically a Model 1 Aladdin. Uh, so uh, Contraco is a Connecticut trading company, so it's a Model 1, but there's nothing inside. The inner, uh, uh, inner wick tube is gone, uh, and so is everything inside. So it kind of looks okay from far. Uh, it's a nice old survivor, but I, you know, I didn't pay like, I paid like $20 for it, and that's really how it's worth, unfortunately. It would probably be a $500 lamp if it wasn't butchered. So the way to do the, uh, the center draft, so 12 and earlier, is run down to the hardware store and get yourself, oops, I'm sorry, get yourself one of these guys. It's basically a chandelier socket, and uh, it'll take a chandelier-style bulb. And I really like these um, LED ones they got out these days because they make a nice warm light. And that's an Edison-style bulb there, so... So essentially what you do is you just run some lamp wire up inside, up inside. I usually put a knot in there so it doesn't pull out, run it up. And uh, there's just basically a couple of connections there. And uh, you uh, essentially put some electrical tape on it and put this little cardboard thing back on that I just dropped. But the whole thing sort of resides in there very nicely. Uh, when it has the cardboard tube on it, you might want to put a little bit of electrical tape on there as well too. And then put the reassemble the uh, the burner, and um, that's kind of what I do. So if you ever want to turn it back, I just got to put the flame spreader back in, and um, and it's it's ready to go. So that's pretty much the way to do it without destroying your lamps. Um, and uh, so that's what I do. Um, it's kind of a short video today. Just want to show you a couple electri electrified lamps and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video and have yourself a nice day.